Heart failure is characterized by an impairment in the heart's ability to pump enough blood through the organs and tissues of the body. Correspondingly, individuals with heart failure are frequently hospitalized because of organ fluid retention, especially in the lungs, which results in inadequate oxygen supply. To pump blood effectively, the heart must contract fully to force blood out of the heart and then relax completely to allow the ventricles to refill with an adequate amount of oxygenated blood. This contraction relaxation cycle depends on circa 2A, an enzyme that pumps calcium from the cytoplasm into the sarcoplasmic reticulum during relaxation, allowing replenishment of calcium stores in preparation for the next contraction. Reduced activity and expression of circa 2A is a hallmark of heart failure. AAV1, circa 2A, is a non-pathogenic adeno-associated virus vector containing the human circa 2A gene and is designed to potentially restore levels of circa 2A in the cardiomyocytes of patients with heart failure. In clinical trials, AAV1, circa 2A, is administered as a single infusion into the coronary arteries via cardiac catheterization. AAV1, circa 2A, passes into the myocardium via the capillaries, where the vector introduces the circa 2A gene into the cardiomyocytes. Upon entering the nucleus, The single-strand circa 2A gene is converted to a double-strand DNA, but is not incorporated into the host genome. Then the circa 2A gene undergoes transcription, and the mRNA exits the cytoplasm, where it is translated by the ribosome. And the normal human circa 2A enzyme is then incorporated into the membrane of the sarcoplasmic reticulum. This repopulation of the sarcoplasmic reticulum with functional circa 2A increases calcium cycling, enhancing contraction and relaxation, and improving overall cardiac function.